Hello and welcome to our second window on the week for 2021. The COVID-19 pandemic that started in 2020 has created massive disruption in our education system in the world. The education system has had to pivot to digital learning. As Risk Insights, we have a business imperative and responsibility to create shared value. To this extent, we have provided eight matriculants with internships in our data lab working on ESG data until they can start university in March this year. We are privileged and pleased to have a group of aspiring minds with us today as part of our social entrepreneurship program. It is great to have you with us today. We wanted to find out about if and how the COVID-19 pandemic has had any profound impact on you from a learning perspective. Well, I definitely think it did have an impact. It was um, a very different year from what people have mainly experienced during school. But I don't necessarily think that it was a negative experience at all. We actually had the opportunity to learn how to talk online, to submit things online, which is always going to be useful in the work world, even after COVID. Um, and we definitely had that exposure at school, which was really helpful. Um, it was a huge and difficult shift adjusting to an online platform. It forced learners to be more accountable for their work as an online platform made school feel much more optional than mandatory. The lockdown prevented me from doing things that I was excited for, into, like sports. It did make learning um, a bit more challenging because now we were doing classes from a computer and, you know, sometimes the internet connection can be faulty. So because of that, you don't always hear what the teacher says. And then I've had to teach myself certain subjects because it was just really hard for me to learn it online from behind a screen. So it was a lot, it was a lot harder to learn for me um, personally. At Risk Insights, ESG and sustainability are our ethos. As the new generation, Generation Z, do you think that environmental issues are key to sustainability? I definitely think that environmental issues cannot be ignored, ignored when it comes to sustainability. I think we really need to focus on them because for that, for the world to keep its longevity, we won't be able to unless we maintain that sense of environmental responsibility. So I think for everyone and every company and every individual, we really need to keep envir environmental sustainability in the forefront of our minds. I do believe that environmental issues are perhaps um, incredibly pertinent to the future of, of sustainability. Because if we're looking at long-term sustainability, we are in a climate crisis. So finding ways to um, reduce our, our carbon emissions or, or companies reducing their climate impact on the environment, I think that that's very key to looking towards ESG and long-term sustainability. I think environmental issues are pivotal in sustainability, as we only have one Earth, and if it continues to degrade the way it is now, it will signify the end of human race. Is climate change important to youth? And why? I believe climate change is significant in the youth as we are aware that it is our responsibility to ensure that future generations can experience a healthy, sustainable planet before it turns into a wasteland. I definitely do think that climate change is incredibly important to the youth. I mean, if you look at the likes of even uh, uh, Greta Thunberg, we as the youth find it to be, uh, as I said, a climate crisis that we are in because we find it very important that this changing climate has very detrimental effects. To our, to, our, to nature and to our natural environment. I think for me personally, climate change is very important. And I think my reason is very personal. I think I want to have kids one day and I want them to enjoy the earth just the way that I did. I wouldn't want them to live in the polluted beaches and don't want them to breathe polluted air. I want the world to exist as perfectly as it can for as long as it can. It's very important to me because it affects every part of my life. Climate change will have an effect on my physical and mental health, and it will also have an effect on that of friends and family. So it's definitely very important to me. Is it something much talked about while at school? I wouldn't really say, uh, what do you call it, climate change is 
well talked about at school. I learned a lot about it because I did bio as a subject and I did business studies as a subject. But in terms of just talking about the effect that we have on our earth and you know climate change, it's not really looked into as much depth as it should be. We're not really taught how to do things, what's recyclable, what's not recyclable, how we can decrease our ecological footprint. All of those kind of things are not really taught to us. They're only taught to us if you do subjects like bio, where it's looked in, a, in depth. I think that climate change has almost become so so normalized in the sort of in the sort of jerry way that we are, I think it's frequently mentioned uh, during school and it's discussed, but I definitely think there's more circumstances that we could place more emphasis on it and actually discuss um, solutions as to what we can do with uh, this issue regarding climate change. In terms of ESG and sustainability, what are you? as young people looking for from a company and what would attract you to work for a company? So for me personally, I'm very much a person focused on ethics and triple bottom line reporting for people, planet, as much as your product is important and your profit, I think people and planets are the two most important things to me. So how you treat your workers, how you're treating the planet. So if a company does not meet what I base as my standards and what I expect them to meet, I don't think I could work for them wholeheartedly, no matter how much they offer to pay you. So I'm attracted to a company that, um, that believes in equality and believes in diversity. Well, obviously, a lot of companies have sustainability reports and ESG reports and all of that, which definitely does help and is does attract people my age when looking for a job. But one thing that I've noticed is reports are always looking backwards. It's always looking at what just happened in the year before. But one thing that would make a company stand out more than anything is to, if they present their goals and share their goals and what they want to achieve in the year coming, because that will definitely help, especially when you look at the reports at the end of the year, you can see not just what they have done in the year, but how close and accurate it was to the goals that they had set in the beginning of the year, which would definitely stand out. The digital world is reimagining your work experience compared to your parents' experience. How have you adapted to this? Did you ever imagine that the working world would be so different? Growing up, I saw the world moving towards a more digital platform in terms of how we're going to be working and all that. Because uh, we, in, in schools, uh, especially my generation, we started slowly transitioning into using laptops, into using iPads, um, using ebooks and all that. So I did see the world moving in this stage and now quickly becoming a part of it. It's a difficult adjustment but it's doable. And I think it's a, it's very practical in that it helps us connect. I didn't expect it to be the way it is now. Um, I think it's also really interesting because it's a lot more effective in some ways. You can work from a comf the comfort of your home. There's less travel costs, so you obviously are reducing not only your expenses on a monthly basis, but also your emissions, your carbon emissions from your car. Do you think an inclusive world is important? How has the pandemic made you think about this as youth of our country, South Africa? This pandemic has really highlighted the amount of inequality that we have within the country and even within the world. Something as simple as internet access is something that's denied to many. I think that inclusivity is very important, mainly because during um, the COVID pandemic, we obviously were exposed to the gap, of the poverty gap that is existent in South Africa that as a private school student, I was immediately able to resume schooling. I got home, I had Wi-Fi, I had my laptop. I had all the materials and access to uh, resources that I needed to continue my schooling, continue my education and, and do the best I can. There are other people in the country who obviously didn't have that, you know, that, that privilege. An inclusive world is of utmost importance because I believe that no one can truly make it in this world alone. You need the support and inclusion of people from all walks of life in order to strengthen community and improve the overall lives of people. The pandemic made me realize that my generation is responsible for fostering those relationships and bringing people together, as we are, having heard in numerous times, the future of this country. And we need everyone's participation in order to truly improve the lives of others and ensure our planet's safety. 
Well, there have been some wonderful insights today, so thank you all. As a company geared towards the future, advancing the social contract is a key business imperative. This is also a key theme at Davos, at the World Economic Forum. The graduates of 2020 have been hardest hit by this pandemic, which will affect our country for years to come. It is therefore important to be creative as companies to create a new social contract that will create resilience and shared value. It is important that both private and public sectors assure the continuity of learning for young people. Multi-generational companies are extremely important from this standpoint and reimagining our social contract in society is critical for ESG. At Risk Insights, we are creating resilience and impact for South Africa. Thank you to the St. Peter's matriculants of 2020 for your incredible insights. I am Aneshwin Pillay, the Acting CEO of Risk Insights, and join us next week for more insights and thought leadership. Stay safe.